your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Winters. I think you'd agree it's been a rather gray day across eastern Iowa. Our Dubuque City Cam certainly showing some of that gray sky as well as the fog near the surface. This is again the downtown area of Dubuque. As we take a look at our current visibilities out at the Dubuque Airport, the visibility is down near zero. It's just a little ways out of town. The visibility really drops near zero in Maquoka, a half mile in Washington, one to three miles elsewhere, Prairie du Chien and some of our northeast zone down to a quarter of a mile. Patchy areas of dense fog remain with us. Let's talk about the fog first highlighted on your first alert and really not much change. We'll see some improvement as the rain moves in. There'll still be areas of fog and spots though, and at times as we head through tonight as well as tomorrow, it is going to be dense as we're seeing right now. As far as the rainfall on your first alert, widespread rainfall is likely. It's moving in already and it'll continue into the morning hours and kind of fade as we head into the afternoon. Rainfall totals are coming up. Here's a look at live pinpoint Doppler radar and you'll notice it is just a wide swath of moisture across eastern Iowa and embedded within a period of time, maybe in Grundy County right now, more portions of Lynn County up toward Manchester into areas of Clayton and Alamakee County, some isolated areas of more moderate rain at times, light rain or drizzle elsewhere. And if you're not seeing that, you're certainly seeing some fog. Pinpoint Futurecast has had a great handle on this throughout as it's moved in. Still with us as we head toward for early in the morning on Friday at 6 a.m., trying to develop a little mix in our far northwestern counties. If it does, they're probably not going to reach the ground, stay in the form of rain. Noon, still a few very isolated scattered showers. And then as they move out Friday evening, we dry things out. But notice the clouds. And yes, some fog is still with us as we head into our Saturday. Here's how things are shaping up for the rainfall forecast. We're looking at maybe a half inch as we move through the overnight hours. Localized street flooding is possible because some of those storm drains might be a little plugged with some snow, and that could lead to again some localized areas of ponding on the roadways. Overnight zone cast, 32 in Edgewood, 33 in Dyersville. We're going to be close to or just above that freezing mark, 33 in Waterloo, 33 in Cedar Rapids. Rain likely with dense fog possible again in our southern zone. 33 degrees, a pretty popular number. And tomorrow, much like today, it's middle 30s for highs. That slight chance of rain is early. And then the fog is with us at times, patchy and dense. Northwest winds very light at 5 to 10. The clouds stick with us as well. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the northwest winds continue. Monday, a little turn to the southwest. We're back to the northwest again on Tuesday. There's a weak system moving through Monday and Tuesday. We may have to add just a little bit of precipitation in the forecast for that. We'll watch it very carefully. Right now, we're keeping it out the main precipitation ban tonight and early on Friday. Notice fog stays with us through the weekend. Then as we head into next week, we'll likely lose some of that fog. Could also start to lose a little bit of the cloud cover. Not a lot, but a little bit. And then still looking like the end of January, early February, which now includes Groundhog Day. Ah. <laughs> could see highs back in the lower 40s. Our trusted groundhog. <laughs> Got to check him out, of course. Jimmy the Groundhog in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. The yeah. only groundhog to trust. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Very reliable. He is. <laughs> Didn't know there was one that was head and shoulders above the rest, but now I oh, know. Oh, of course. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Some of your